Welcome to Electra Online and next we travel to Easter Island in the Pacific and there we find the Ahu Tongariki, the largest structure built on the island with those famous statues, in this case facing the Pacific Ocean. And there's 15 of them in this large grouping, the largest grouping on the island. There's 15 what we call Maui, that's what those statues are called. One of them still has the Pakao on it, those big circular hats of that reddish rock that they used to put on top of each of these statues. The large of these statues is 86 tons and it's amazing how they were able to build and erect them and, and bring them from the quarries to where they were st standing. And this was built on a very large stone structure, so this is the largest structure built on the island. And what's amazing about them is that they're all facing the ocean in such a way that at sunset, at summer solstice, they're facing directly towards the sunset. They're watching the sun disappear over the Pacific Ocean on that very special day. Now, of course, during the period around the summer solstice, you probably have the perfect alignment as well for at least a number of days until it begins to move away from the direction of the faces. And then, of course, that event has gone past. But again, even on Easter Island, they thought it important enough to line these statues up in such a way that on summer solstice, they would watch the sun disappear over the ocean. Again, pure coincidence, perhaps it is, but there seems to be so much unity in the structures around the world to commemorate uh, this special event in the culture of the people. And so probably a lot of people believe that this was done in intention, that it was intentionally done so that they would have that perfect alignment with that special day of the year. And here it is in Easter Island.